Whether it's at the gym, in the car, or at work, music is a staple in our lives. Scientist Dr. Joyce Chen has been studying the effects of music on the brain and says it engages several regions. Music can regulate our feelings, our mood, and we also, there's a lot of um, literature, behavioral literature showing that how you feel can also influence how you perform, how you make decisions. But if you're faced with a new or difficult task, Dr. Chen says, go with what you know. If you have to remember a sequence of actions or a, sequ a series of words or whatnot, then maybe there might be interference. So actually in those situations, listening to music and trying to perform this other task that taps into similar brain mechanisms might not be good. Dr. Chen says music also affects areas of the brain responsible for planning, emotion and rewards, releasing the feel-good chemical dopamine. So these are reward regions of the brain that have been traditionally linked to food, sex, you know, things that are important for human survival. Studies have also shown music can make you feel like you're not working as hard as you actually are, often seen in sports. If you listen to fast, high-tempo, high-energy music that improves your extra short bird of exercise, I guess the amount of power that you're able to generate. Researchers don't know why people gravitate towards certain genres of music, but if you want to reap the benefits of the beat, pick something you love. It doesn't matter. It could be Mozart, it could be heavy metal, whatever gets your fancy. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.